did kind of, I did kind of fall to play it. All right, new game. Let's do it. All righty. God, it's so badass. <laughs> I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm waiting. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Anybody else here static? Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings okay, have gone followed away. by the fall of the it the fall of the Sector 7 plate culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Uh, okay. After a briefing with Shira <laughs> investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be quote weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as How? What? The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu-Tai and has begun investigations into what? the matter. Is that Shinra headquarters? Wait, what? That looked like Shinra headquarters, I don't know. They showed stamp too. I'm telling you, that's Angel's feather. I'm telling you now, man, that's Angel's feather. Okay, why are we starting with Zach? That's so Angel's feather, dude. I'm like, I'm big braining that. I've been big braining since the fucking trailer. That's Angel's feather. Well, I thought we would start with the prologue. Like, with, like, the flashback. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I found another reactor blew up. Which must have been zero, caused one, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Over there. <coughs> Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and also the timeline doesn't add up. We still have one soldier right. Ex-soldier armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. Wait, what? I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier armed with a buster sword. What? Back over here. Wait, what? Prep for takeoff. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Wait, what? Why? Hold, hold, hold on. I have so many questions. Okay, everyone's fucking dead. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. Ex soldier, but Cloud's right there, comatose. We're taking off. What? Is he? Why? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this. The timeline doesn't make sense. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, that, but the timeline doesn't make sense. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> as soon as I have control, I gotta talk. I have questions, Kage. Oh, hey, Red's not dead. Red is not dead. Well, he might be dead now. Okay, okay. Time the fuck out. Time the fuck out. They could be talking about Zack taking an army out, but that doesn't line up with the original plot line's time of events. <laughs> like, in the timeline... Zack dies, Cloud wanders in with the Buster Sword, goes to the train station where Tifa finds him. Tifa talks about, yay, it's Cloud, and he's like starting to come out of his comatose, and he's like, Tifa, it's been five years, it's been seven. But like here, it's as if he gets to Midgar at the same time as they had already blown up se uh, Reactor 7, I'm sorry, uh, Reactor 5. They've already blown up the first reactor. And it looks like they've attacked Shinra headquarters. Because Red's with them. Before Zack and Cloud even got to Midgar. Which doesn't line up with what we would know as the timeline that we would expect. So, like, that's weird off the bat. Right? So, like... Why in the alternate universe in which Zack lives are the events so moved up? Right, in this alternate universe, the alternate timeline, time jannies? You think the time jannies forward things? Like, like ghosts? Maybe? <coughs> that, that's so weird. Also, I was not, like, I legitimately did not expect playable Zack to start the game. I want to see if he says anything about going this way. Okay, he doesn't say a shit. Oh, man, my boy. My boy broken. One way to do a tutorial is to start with Zack. This is not what I was expecting. Also, Red's not dead, so maybe Red's gonna have something to say about this? Unless he died in that crash. Of course, no spoilers. I will find out on my own. Get away from her! He's got a buster sword! Terrorist! Oh, damn, he got combos! Alright, damn, dude. Zack's kind of fun to play as. Man, you are way too strong. God damn, Zack. Oh, 
Also, I like how you don't have no health bar. They're like, we're not gonna let you die here. You are OP. Oh no, there's red. Uh, red might actually be dead now. No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. What the fuck? This is the worst timeline, dude. Zack lives, everyone else fucking dies. <laughs> this is so messed up. All of it. Yeah, yeah, Zack is kind of a demigod. Telling you my big brain theory, I have no idea. Oh shit, white materia. Zach, you better pick that shit up, bitch. I don't think she's dead. Also, how does this play into the whole thing with the church scene? He was like, Aerith, I'm back. Did we just, like, forget that scene? Or is it implied that that All scene right, happened man. before? Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. Or, don't, I don't, don't answer this. If that scene is later in the game... No problem. I could see that being a later scene in the game. That could be the end of the game, for all I know. Five years ago. It was sixteen. Seven years ago. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. What little there was was boring as hell. I'm telling you, when she dies at the end of this game, she's gonna wake up in that timeline. A mission. I'm telling you. I couldn't believe my luck. Oh, Sakage, how's the audio? Hopefully the audio is good. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, oh. feeling any better? I'm oh, good. I love how that's cloud, and you can sure easily don't. tell that it's cloud. <laughs> Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Hey, what's up, Graymond? Ready to do this? Yeah. You bet. I love how they made Cloud look so young. I mean, granted, he's supposed to be 16. You just finished the game last night? God damn, dude. I'm impressed. We're gonna, this is going to take me hey, weeks to finish. Sorry. Oh, Daddy no Rob. Kids. Nice. For those who like don't know, uh, Joe is one of the two of guys I went and saw Advent Children with in theaters a couple really? weeks ago. Find yeah. What do they do? <laughs> a ceasefire with I'm not going to do 100%. I'll do, like, everything I, I want to do. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Dude, I, Advent Children was a lot funnier than I remember it being. Holy shit, that movie was too funny. Yeah. Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. How soft his face looks. Got some beats in our twelve. Looks so soft and young, like a puppy. Let's go. Stuffy Rolf. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, you're doing everything though, aren't you, Kage? Like, are you doing a hundred percent? You take one. I'll take the other. 
it's pretty cool that they changed this from the, the dragon to these monsters. I actually like that better. It's all more organic, yeah. We're, I'm gonna do a lot of the, not side stuff, but I'm gonna do a lot of, like, the overall exploration, probably, like, off-stream. Yeah, that, I'm gonna do side quests on-stream, but, like, any kind of grinding, any kind of, like, um, stuff that I wouldn't find interesting for stream, I'll do off-stream. Um... But all, like, the main story will be on stream. All the big fights, even with the Chadley stuff, because I assume there'll be summon fights. The rest of us. Like, I, I imagine, I, I've seen the, the, the screenshots. Like, you fight Alexander through a Chadley thing. That'll be all on stream. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first And like reactor. I said, once we beat, uh, once we beat like, right. a Dragon Infinite yeah. Wealth, this will become the it main game. But for right now, it's... Something on Friday for this week and next week. And the whole village is <coughs> I hope I'll be done with Infinite Talk Wealth next Thursday. New monsters on the mountain. Only <coughs> <worse. clears throat> I'm sorry. We're at the end of Infinite Maybe Wealth. I think that's got two that's streams right. left. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. I've it's avoided the... spoilers as much as possible. The only thing I've seen because they fuckers didn't spoil tag it is apparently the weapon tree thing is gone like the the weapon skills inside the menu with like the different weapons and apparently that's not the same or at least that's what i understand home sweet home right god he looks like a Tell baby me, how does it feel i have no home baby girl so no. baby girl cloud uh, it's streamlined so okay parents though Right? Look how much like a puppy he looks. Like Nova. a little baby. She died shortly He's after. He's wee I was little born. baby. My father. Oh there. Denova? Like from the Shinra building? Wee yeah. little baby cloud. I'm getting to that. He just a little boy. <laughs> he just a baby. <laughs> he really has like baby doll eyes. Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. It looks like a baby. Who's a little Hope cloud? Who's a little cloud? Keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Man, that guy's got great facial hair. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Alright, which one's Cloud? Let's see, I want to say it's the guy... Is it this one? No, hold on. So, any friends here you want to no, see? not that one. Maybe a girlfriend? Nice. Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? So, any friends here you want to see? Alright, two lines of dialogue per, that makes that it's the same. understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? They got anything worth eating? What a relief! Can you imagine? Also, thanks, Kage. It sounds good. Can you imagine sitting here and listening to every single line of dialogue? Must have been quite the trek. Right, like just just running around to every single NPC and hearing what they say. Hi, don't run away from me. We would be here for a decade. Thank you for coming. What we lack in weapons, we make. Hey, I know. <laughs> Mega potion. Hey there. Have we gone to see your mother? What do you think Sephiroth's like when he's not? What's wrong, my little tears? Wow. How you 
still got energy after the trip here. I I did. I did. I I haven't played it like I played it when it first dropped. More than your average Joe. But I don't remember what's in the chests and stuff. Hello, sir. I couldn't help it, man. I had to. Sephiroth's in there right now. I kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? You want me to take your photo? Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film on. Uh, who are you again? Wow. Dick. Mind asking Sephiroth to come out? You want me to take. Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film. Yeah, I couldn't help it. I had to. I had to. I had to do it. So we uh, we will get um I don't think we can get it yet. But we will get this uh once we get to the actual spot for it. Oh that's cool. Quick checkpoint reload. Huh. Let's make a save. This all feels so much better. <laughs> like the menus feel better than remakes menus did. It kind of does make remake look like a tech demo. And then you remember after playing remake that remake was like a whole ass fucking great game. Just for a bit. Could you keep up? I loved remake. I loved it a lot. Weak legs betray a weak. All right, mind. everybody, gather round. It's time to zanga side. Zanga sides. Let's zanga. Okay. Cloud, Put do your it. fingertips together and Cloud, lift your hands do it. to the sky. Cloud, do the motions. Arms tight to the ears and spread those hands. Spread Keep your hands, Cloud. Straight. Feel the stretch all the way to your fingertips. Good, good. Keep I mean, I, FF7 is one of my favorites. I mean, I'm always going to say FF6 is my favorite, heels. but... Hold it. Hold it. Are you doing yoga? Come on, lady. You can do it. You can, I believe in you, old lady. Oh, never mind. You're bad at this. Inhale. I'm staying for the whole thing. Oh, hey, there it is! Let's go, Cloud. Aw. I was just not standing in the right spot. Okay, that was some great effort. Now let's all take a short break. If you're feeling a bit tense, use this time to stretch. This is great. I did not look at this in the demo. I breezed right through that. <laughs> Alright, that's really funny. That's really funny. Then I stopped by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Absolutely. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other. Okay, two I'm going to pause. So, has anyone played, um, is it Ever Crisis? Graham, did you play Ever Crisis? 
Because I saw I saw a theory going around not long ago about a character from Ever Crisis. Uh, the, specifically, the flashback to young Sephiroth. There's a character named, I think, Glenn. And people were, like, theorizing that Glenn is actually Cloud's father. And I'm wondering, I don't know anything about Glenn. And I'm not going to look it up because if, God forbid, something happens in this game that actually references that game. Because for whatever reason, uh, I'd be like, yo, that's kind of cool. It's just a fan theory from what I know. But I'm like, that that is interesting. And it would tie Cloud and Sephiroth more, which makes sense, because, you know, they're kind of intertwined at this point. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. Claudia is Cloud's mom. Man, the naming scheme. She even looks like Cloud. Cloud, is that you? Hey. They look alike. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. Oh, I see. Because it never happened. So that's why that static happened. <coughs> he never met his mom. Women must be hounding you day and night. Or at least not as a soldier. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big He might have had this conversation, but not in the, the soldier outfit. I feel a lot you found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? None of this happened. You're my son. Of course, <coughs> I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, none of that happened. That sword's huge! Now I'm the top. Rest up tonight. Oh, 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 we have to go up here. Yeah, of course. The old water tower. So, how did it feel being back up there? Hey, what's up, Axia? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? By the way, Axia, did you see that Kenny Omega has gotten into streaming on Twitch? It's awesome. Happy Friday, by the way, everybody. Yeah, he's been streaming Street Fighter VI. Um, Jabali uh, helped him set up the stream. Superhero landing. Huh? You went to my place? I mean, because he can't. He's not able to wrestle at the moment. This is good for him to like help him pass the time and help him have some other hobby to do while he can't wrestle. We had our reasons. Our reasons, huh? Hey, the game installed, by the way. Even though I installed it like a week ago when it came out. Remember my cat? Her name was. Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Did she have a cat in the original? I don't remember. God damn, that is a... I need a cat tower like that for my cat. <laughs> That's a stripper pole cat pole. God damn. Spoiled cat.
All right, what you got in here? Ah, treasure chest. Stealing your shit. Bottle of ether. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? Yeah. I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> Cloud! You asshole! <laughs> In unison, you asshole is really good. Oh, look at that little moogle. It's a cute. Aww. Oh, Did God. you actually play it? Went to town on it. I could... I, I could pull out... I could pull out the sheet music right now. I have sheet music for Final Fantasy. I'm trying to remember. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I'm visualizing a piano in my head in order to like remember how some songs go. It's C, D, E, F, G, A. So it's G, A, A sharp. Do 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 I think it's an octave down. No, hold on. It's is it G? That's E. I think it's all oh, I think it's D. Oh, it's a octave higher C. Dude, that's cool. Uh, okay. Um, oh, does this not unlock the, oh, does the mini game not unlock here? The, mi the mini game unlocked in the demo. I wanted to do the mini game. Ah, lame. I wanted to do the mini game. Okay. I mean, oh, I wow. could pull out the sheet music. Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. I could pull oh, out the shit. sheet music and learn times. how to play a song in the game, but not right now. That might be something we do later, though. I might make that a channel point redeem. Learn a song on the Final Fantasy VII piano. 100,000 channel points. <laughs> this is my house, right? Yeah. Do our village proud. 
Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that one, buddy. Do our village proud. This. Make sure you're good and rested. Hmm. Please, everyone, give them space. That's a lot of people talking. Way too dank. Yeah, it's Coffee Dad. A soldier. And you are? Hi, Jameson Price. Richard Sangan. That's Jameson Price, I'm right? Coffee Lord. Dad? Sojiro? Teacher of martial arts to the youth. Also. Yes, also Lara's dead. The R side family. It really is literally every dad. Jameson Price literally is video game dad. You could learn a lot from me. If I had a nickel for every time he played a dad in a video game, I would be wealthy. That last count. One hundred and twenty-eight. In fact, one of them is from this very village. Oh, yeah, no, he's got a great Where voice. You know Tifa. He's of that ilk of voice actors that has, like, we one voice, but thing. does it well. She'll go far. That's like a DC Douglas, um... Yeah, right? Who else kind of has, like, the one voice they do well. Uh, H. John Benjamin. Like, you're not asking them to do different types of voices. You're asking them to do that one really good voice consistently. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. And it's a damn good voice. Should you need my help, just say the word. I've been working on some new techniques. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just Coach wasn't McGurk. himself. Can you imagine him like... What are looking at? Actually, there's a movie coming out with H. John Benjamin where he this plays the inner game. monologue of the mute huh? main character, and I'm like, this is actually an amazing way to get H. John Benjamin to be an action star. Okay. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. What, 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 I, I think it was. You should get some rest. Uh oh, god! What the hell is All it right. called? I'll do. Hit. It's got uh Austin Butler as the main character. It looks off the. It, it looks ridiculous. It's being produced by Sam Raimi. He's not directing it, but he's producing it. He might have written it too. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Let me let me see. Hold on. I was too excited. Too. Uh, Austin Butler is the guy from Dune. It was pretty much the same for me. Actually. Why? Yeah, I was surprised too. I think it's Austin Butler, isn't it? Maybe it's somebody else. I thought it was him. No, maybe it's not Austin Butler. Who the hell is it then? Um, Sam Raimi. Producing a pro uh, producer. Uh, Brian. Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad. Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be oh, it's called Boy Kills World. Pumpkin. 
Oh, no, it wasn't Austin Butler. It's Bill Skarsgård. That's who it was. And H. John Benjamin is playing his inner monologue. The trailer is ridiculous. It's written by um, Arend Remmers and Mon Moritz Moore, who's directing it. Moritz Moore. And it's Bill Scar. Let me. Okay. Follow me here. Bill Skarsgård and Austin Butler look very similar. Just say. Yeah, they both have the crazy eyes, and I saw Dune 2 that Austin Butler was in, and he was fucking amazing. Thanks. Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah. I mean, he's the guy who played. Uh, uh, yes, I'm talking did. about Bill Skarsgård. He's the guy who played the clown in It. He played Pennywise. Which is horrifying. Yeah, I will never weird. watch that movie. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean. No, thank air. you. I I do not want to see. I hate clowns. Yes. Which I mm, I don't know how I feel about a remake of Crow. I don't know how I feel about a remake of The Crow. <clears throat> I feel like this is a movie that, especially with everything tied to it being, um, uh, what's you his name, Brandon Lee? Brandon Lee, right, who passed away time. while filming? It really put Mount I can feel like, I don't know, I just don't, I feel like it's in bad taste. Such a breathtaking view. I don't know, I feel like it's in bad taste. Everyone, eventually. Man, I, don't I know. wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Fuck, this game is gorgeous. came this way. All right, we'll be taking an ad break uh, in, a, in a few moments. I just want to get to a, a good spot to do it. And they're not nice. What do you think? Cowgirl outfit, think Tifa, this. is so good. Then they're all yours. Copy that. This is how it's going to be. It doesn't seem much point in me fighting. Easy. I 
I, I'm a god gamer at this game. I don't know if you know that. Me, huh? I'm just, I'm amazing. Don't mind if I do. And, uh, yeah, I'm amazing. I'm the best Final Fantasy VII Rebirth gamer ever. No. Alright. This is a good spot to take a small ad break so I can stand up and stretch and get some water because I don't have any water. Uh, but I will leave you with um, some music. But I'll mute this. Alright. <clears throat> I will be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the music. Stand up, stretch, get a drink, get a... Grab a, a snack. Whatever you gotta do. I will be back in a few minutes.
Hi, I'm back. Hello. All righty. Oh. All right, good break. Good break. I'm ready to play more. All right, let's minimize this. Thank you. All right. All right. So I'm thinking about getting a, uh, a pass to my, not my local pool, but there's a pool that I'm thinking about. Um, I'm thinking about getting a pass, like a season pass, to like the pool that's close to me to get some swimming in this summer um, for cardio. But it's like not cheap. Is that Mako? Whoa. It's not cheap. It's like a couple hundred dollars. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Alright. I disagree. Remember how to do aerial shit. All yours. That parry. I gotta remember to use my AT my ATB shit. Like as soon as I get it. <laughs> Hi Cloud. That's cloud. I got the rest. Oh, come on. Dodge hold square. That's right. Okay. Only Cloud has that. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Not everybody Our has that. Cloud does, so lucky though. Next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and... No, we're playing on normal. I've I'll talked to a careful. few people, and I've been told that normal is just the, the right way to play. You better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Dynamic 
seems interesting, but it also, like, I don't know. Seems like I'm too dumb for it. I don't need to review the material tutorial. Yo, what's up, Daru? We did dynamic, it was okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play normal. I am kind of interested in seeing how the hard mode of this game goes, because it's so much different than... Um, it's so much more different than Remake. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 essentially Final Fantasy VIII. It's Final Fantasy VIII. Maybe just dud better. Because that's how Final Fantasy VIII did its leveling system, was everybody around you, <coughs> like everything was um, the same, it scaled. Everything scaled with you. Yeah, I don't want to grind the world, though. Okay, don't get me wrong. If the game becomes, like... If at one point, because I'm doing so much stuff, that things just start to kind of become a breeze and a joke and not entertaining and not fun, then I'll switch to dynamic, I guess. Like, that's when I would. Um... Listen, I'm a Final Fantasy VIII apologist, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> also, yeah, Dara, I've seen that you've been playing it. Um, um, oh, did you finish? I saw you were streaming it. I'm like, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm, I'm walking into that stream. I love you, but I also do not uh, want to spoil myself. <clears throat> Salsa dance off? Hell yeah, gamer. Now I gotta ask you, Daru. Were there were were those Goku tacos? <laughs> I only say this because I know that you're from Mexico. Right? I hope I'm not being terrible. Um How how are you guys handling Akira Toriyama's passing? I've seen all the jokes on Twitter that like all of the all of the flags in Mexico are half mast because like Latin America fucking loves Dragon Ball like like loves Dragon Ball. Was there not a Spanish dub? Oh, that sucks. 
I know you would have loved that. I know, man. I'm I'm a, like I'm rereading. Um, I well, I've been rereading uh, Dragon Ball from the beginning, from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Nice. Uh, let me see. Where was I last left off? I'm on, uh, 41. It's dying sound-wise? Is it static? Uh, if it's static, I gotta do this. Hold on. Give me a second. I know how to fix this. Or at least partially fix this. I hate that it does this. Deactivate, activate. Oh, I don't know why it does that. I really don't. It's been, it does that sometimes. Usually I deactivate and reactivate that fixes it for a little bit. But I don't know. And it's only on some games. I haven't noticed it on like infinite wealth at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm on, I'm on um, 41. Are you using a port 3.0? No, it's internal. It's in a PCIe slot. I I don't use external cap cards. I only use internal. It's an Avermedia 4K. It's one of the best capture cards. Get off my back. It's a good cap card. I trust Avermedia. I have never been let down. I have owned all of two capture cards from Avermedia, which is not a lot, but that's mainly because the Black Magic did so much good work. The CO27 Avermedia Black Magic was my go-to capture card for God knows how long. But, you know, I had to change that up when uh, PS5 came out. Yeah, I'm very happy I did not go Rock to your stream the then. A while ago. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as far as Dragon Ball goes, okay? Okay. I'm learning today actually a lot of things I didn't know about Toriyama, and especially about Toriyama's, um, about his, not just his, like, not just the inspirations, but like, what? The, I did not know that Ariel from Dr. Slum inspired Mario. Right? I didn't know that. I didn't know the story about the slime design from Dragon Quest, which is, in my opinion, one of the most iconic monsters in RPG Gotta history. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. Good thing I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. That stupid Otherwise, smile. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Is so good. Lead on. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, they came to him with the slime design, then they were thinking, like, we want something kind of just like a pile of goo from, like, Wizardry, an old RPG franchise. Um, that was more, like, realistic. And instead, he came back with the design that would become one of the most iconic RPG monster designs of all time. Yeah, uh, Sandland, I will be buying. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it. But I feel like I owe it to the man that has given me so much in my life to 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 buy it, to to buy it. Level boost. Said ice. It's not a cure. Here I should get the level boost. I should put a sex on as well. It's based on one of his older, well not older works, it's based on a work of his from like I think 2000. Which is why it's kind of wild that it's now becoming a video game. It's like wow, no, like when, it, when the trailer dropped we were like yeah, oh yeah, this is absolutely Toriyama, but I did not realize it was one of his works from like 2000. 
No, it's not older than, as far as I understand, it's not older than Dragon Ball. The only thing I believe that was older than Dragon Ball was, um, Dr. Slum. Or Dr. Slump? But Sandland was, um, le it was much less, not much less, it was, it was lesser known than some of his other works. Come on. Let's finish it. Well, that's that. Oh, they changed their name to Screamer. Yeah, not just, uh, yeah, like, I mean, a lot of cultures, but so, just so much, like, in inspirations and stuff, like, that he was responsible for. Like I said, the Mario thing, I had no idea. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoned. Oh, the a I love the athletes. Like, I love the soccer players that, that like, did the Kamehameha. I mean, um, the New Day in WrestleMania coming out to the, with the Saiyan battle here, that was fucking sick. Um, I mean, I, the wonderful world of Gumball did a Dragon Ball Z reference. Super Sonic was a, I mean, of course Super Sonic is classic, like, clearly is a, you know, reference to, to Goku. RG3, yeah. The fusion dance. So many soccer players do the fusion dance after scoring a goal. Um, I didn't realize the Sonic the Hedgehog um, opening screen where Sonic like pops out of the ring and waves his finger. That's a reference to Ariel from Dr. Slum. I didn't know that. Oh, we want to talk about references? Original cloud pixels from Final Fantasy VII. Look back at the, 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 the model of cloud from FF7 OG. It's Team Gohan Super Saiyan. The purple with the red sash, the, the brown boots, and the black arm guards. It's lit, and of course the, the spiky blonde hair. He's Team Gohan. I never noticed that. And it makes sense when you realize that he had an intimate working relationship with Square. And he was one of the first people to ever play Final Fantasy VII when they were developing the game. It's so clear looking back now that it's like, oh yeah, no, that's absolutely. And, and Gohan, that uh, that manga, like that episode, like that, that volume of the manga came out four years before FF7 did. So the math checks out in the timeline. Oh yeah, part of the Dream King for Tr Chrono Trigger as well as Dragon, all the Dragon Quests, which say what you will about, you know, Final Fantasy and stuff. Like Dragon Quest is one of the most iconic RPG franchises in Japan. Like literally Ichiban Kasuga in Infinite Wealth and Like a Dragon 7 it's all literally he loves Dragon Quest. That's why he sees it as an RPG. I think he name drops Dragon Quest too. Also, I hear it again. The static is back. Let me do this again and see if this fixes it. Uh, that. I'm not getting into that fucking stupid ass argument, dude. I mean, let's forget the, the let's forget the context that Japan's in a recession, that console gaming in Japan in general is down, uh, unless you're the Switch or mobile. Uh, and let's also add in the fact that the attack, like the 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 PS5 install base is small, and it's a sequel. Like, oh oh, and it didn't count digital sales. 
And the way that they ran the promotion where if you bought Rebirth, you also got Remake, I believe was tied to digital sales. Which they don't track. But no, you know, we gotta ask the question, is Final Fantasy dying? I don't know. Tell me when the out when tell me when there's a three hour queue to get into Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail if the goddamn franchise is dying. FF14 makes so much fucking money. Did uh I mean did you buy it physically or did you buy it digitally? Cause they were offering uh see that's the problem. You had to buy it digitally. Sorry. I mean, I already own Remake and, uh, and, uh, Integrade, but yeah. Also, what's up, Keaton? Yeah, I'm, I'm sad. Terrible day for rain. I actually literally, oh, what's up, Tengu? I literally was, like, crying last night on the stream. Not just the highest rated Final Fantasy. Here's the fun part. When they said, oh, the sales are dying. Do you know what the number one game in terms of sales was in Japan over the weekend? Or, or last week at launch? It was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. No, but Mario Kart 8 still sells like fucking hotcakes. That game will never stop selling. <laughs> No, also, let's not forget that it's February. Like, February. Like, February is not a month for buying games. Um, not, not, well, I want to, but not at launch. I'll say that, Deru. And now that we're finding out, um, well, here's the problem with Vanillaware. Atlas wants to put it on PC. Just like Atlas wanted to apparently put on 13 Sentinels on PC. It's Vanillaware that doesn't want it on PC. And they had to agree to it to publish it. Apparently. I don't know. They have an agreement. That was on Twitter the other... I think yesterday or the day before was like Atlas answering why they don't have a PC port. And they're like, well, per our agreement with Vanillaware, it's not available there. Dude, do you know how much 13 Sentinels and a fucking Unicorn Overlord would sell on a Steam Deck? Those look like perfect Steam Deck games. And playing 13 Sentinels, one of my favorite games of all time. That game is amazing. Like, come on. They do, and I don't I don't get it. I feel like they're just like like him like they're hindering themselves. I don't know, man. I, I just I I think more people need to play 13 Sentinels. About crossing that thing. They got it to run then on the let me go first. And they got it to run hey, fine on the I'm the guide here. I mean, I feel like that was also part of the reason why um RGG was hesitant <clears throat> to put judgment on stream or on Steam was not for the piracy, but for the modding. Apparently, because because they, they use real actors, and those actors apparently had fears about their, well, the agencies had fears about their likenesses being screwed with, but I don't know. I'm not getting into localization shit, dude. I'm so tired of it. Motherfuckers are already arguing about the one minute trailer uh, of Trails into Daybreak. They're already complaining about the localization of, day, of, the, uh, of uh, uh, Trails in the Daybreak on a one minute trailer. I can't. Localization weirdos, man. Dude, WB fucking sucks and they can suck my entire asshole. I mean, it's fine. The localization for 13 Sentinels was fucking amazing. I don't mind fluffing around about, but that's personal. That's just a per it's just case. That comes down to case. 
It's not a thing that's objective. Yeah, that guy dead. See ya, buddy. Nah, he's fine. He survived. Those jagged rocks don't look like they hurt. Yeah, WB is the worst. David Zaslav, uh, truly god awful. Truly god awful. He's in fate's hands now. <laughs> like, Do the whole. Co I mean, we've already did it with the Batman uh, Batgirl yeah. movie that I wanted to see, because. Um, what's his name was the bad guy? Um, going to the village. Brandon Frazier, who I love. Big Brandon Frazier fan. Sorry, I, I am absolutely I furious can... about Coy Coyote vs. Acme. Well, we certainly and can't I'm of the opinion alone. that if you're going to do a tax write-off, okay. which means you're getting tax money, my, like our tax money, this time. <coughs> to it's shelve a movie because you want to play the system, Good luck. it should enter into the public ad domain. Your movie should immediately be free to access to the public. If you want to take taxpayer money, that's fine. We'll let you do it. But I I need to see that movie then. It should be free to the public. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I, I would say, quote, unquote, the fan base on that one, KFC, honestly, though. Is it really the fan base? All right, while we're being mad about things between WB and localization, I can't believe they put yellow paint in my Final Fantasy. Oh, uh, the yellow paint virus is taking over gaming. You know what this is? This is woke bullshit. Yellow woke paint. Th this is what happens when, when you make woke games. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth isn't selling well because it's woke. Yellow is the color of wokeness. I'm a mad gamer on the internet and I'm gonna argue about woke shit. It's, it's woke garbage that the radical left is pushing on us. I wish I was awake. I'm so fucking tired. I took Tylenol PM last night and then I crashed and then I just fucking could not wake up this morning. You know, oh man. Oh man, you really want to get into that? You're telling me the game that paints the villain as the megacorp that's sucking the literal lifeblood of the planet. Which is a, you know, a, an allegory on climate change and, you know, fossil fuels and capitalism. No, Final Fantasy VII can't be left and woke. No way in hell. You play literal eco-terrorists though. But no, there's no politics in this game. Rage Against the Machine was raging against the washing machine. I can't believe System of a Down is political. That was a new one that came out. I saw that one. About Serge T uh, Tanakin, or I can never pronounce his fucking name. Where they were like, oh, guess somebody has a new album coming out. Yeah. Yeah, no. S System of a Down hasn't released a new album in how long? Also, do you not know who Serge T where Hawking is, like, my guy. There are people that claim MGS is apolitical. I can't, dude. I fucking can't. Oh. Oh, the brain worms. Woke trails, man. That's right, Daru. Just get the new Tokyo Xanadu. Xanadu, Xanadu. I should take my woke rant and put it on Twitter and make a clip of it. <laughs> Do be out of context. <laughs> Listen, I, I have, I have, I don't have high hopes for Tokyo Xanadu. I enjoyed Tokyo Xanadu when it came out. I thought it was, un I thought it was nice. It wasn't amazing. It didn't break, it didn't like, it didn't change the formula or like, I mean, it was fun. 
it, it did struggle from the same, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, the same problem Cold Steel 2 has, where the game doesn't, doesn't know when to end. You beat the game, congrats. Here's an, here's an epilogue. You beat the epilogue, congrats. Here's a second epilogue. Can, can you stop? I beat the game twice. Can we be done? Why do I have to beat the game three times? Cold Steel 2, very much the same way. To the point where the final boss even knew that it was worthless. Because the final boss shows up and he's like, Hey, yo, bitches. Uh, I don't really matter, but you gotta fight me. Yeah, I mean, System of a Down is inherently political. They literally talk about genocide and, and the, you know, yeah. Do I think Genesis will be brought up in this game? Oh man, I hope we see Gact. I want Gact to be in the game. Who doesn't love Gact? Uh, I mean, I wonder if, and this is, please, if you know, do not spoil. I would appreciate those who have beaten the game to not spoil. I don't think he'll be seen in the game. Uh, but I do think he will be mentioned. I'm also, so the game opens up with uh, Zack in the timeline, the other timeline. And there's the angel feather, the white feather that falls down from the sky. And that is absolutely Angeal. Because Sephiroth and Genesis have the the one-winged black angel. They, they have the black angel wings. Angeal has the white wings. And Angeal has the buster sword. And there's so much to do with Angeal that, like... I have a feeling Zack's gonna talk about him at some point in this game. But I mean, re, uh, Intergrade, or whatever, yeah, Intergrade was the, the DLC with Yuffie. That did give us, like, un Deep Ground. It gave us Weiss and Narrow. I have a feeling that because in Crisis Core, um, the the remaining, the, the last scene you have with Genesis is Deep Ground picking him up. Also, uh, in Remake, so, Hojo literally talks about the the cells, the S cells and G cells. Dumb apples. Me, Gungaga. God damn, Crisis Core is hilarious. Crisis Core is the example of bad 2006 voice acting and writing, and it's fucking great. It did not age well. Uh, the remake did age better in that the, it, the quality of life changes is absolutely how you play Crisis Core now. I would highly recommend playing the remake. The reunion was fun. I had a good time. Just remember that the writing and dialogue and voice acting is going to be pretty bad. Because it's just a product of its time. It is, it is a byproduct of the mid-2000s. Same thing with Crisis Core, which I loved. Goddamn woke yellow paint in my fucking Final Fantasy. Ugh. Next, you're gonna tell me that Cloud cross dresses. Nailed it, moving on. God, I love that scene. God, I love that whole section. I'll, I'll listen to the music, man. That music from that section of the game is such a bop. God, I hope there's a musical section like that in this game. Because I love the Honey Bee Inn section so fucking much. It was so fucking good. I Sephiroth. Oh, no. 
quick die. God, I love Sephiroth. Um, I, I don't know if Zongon lives or dies in the original. I also don't know how they're gonna handle Nibelheim return in um when you get there in the main game because like. The whole original game was like, oh, everybody's a plant. Like they rebuilt Nibelheim, but then put everyone there is essentially an actor for Shinra pretending like nothing happened. Uh, more Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Let's not waste any time. Marco, this trick is dangerous. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Yeah, he lived long enough to save Tifa in the original. But the game is already doing like I mean they they're gonna be changing things of course. Also, can I just say that um I am surprised there are more people here today than I was expecting. I really thought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, over mar like, like, like oversaturated market, I didn't know how well this was I, I was really anticipating streaming to no one today. So thank you guys for being here. I don't, well, I remember Tifa's, well, Tifa's weapon in the original was from the machine in wall market that was shooting the gun at you so it might have been her limit break that had a letter i want to say it was the limit break i don't actually don't remember how you got her final limit break maybe it is from that machine i thought that machine was the ultimate weapon but maybe it wasn't Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the the opening of this game already has me confused because Zack's timeline, he, he comes to Midgar and survives with a comatose cloud, but everyone's dead yeah, but if we keep and all of the reactors have already blown up and they already have the tornado. Right? So it's like time got fast forwarded. Who told you that? My dad. Because in the I original, when know. When Zack dies, Cloud comatosely wakes Rocko up, grabs run. the sword, right? stumbles into Midgar, that collapses in Sector bacteria. 7 train station, and Tifa finds him. And look at the size of it. A but standard. for some reason, in this game, the in the alternate timeline, like this. It must have taken Red 13 is I've like, like they've already done all of the bombings and shit like before Zack and Cloud even get to Midgar. How did you ever get to Which is weird. Soldier. But I, I am there. Don't get me wrong. I'm loving this. The knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. I think. <laughs> they mention a tornado. Which would be the whispers. I know someone who'd be livid to hear so I'm wondering if the whispers did that. like the fact I that they got destroyed. It's an probably had science. some time timey wimey wibbly wobbly oh, with the timeline of the alternate fell. timeline. His predecessor was a great man, but him He is anything but Fuck Hojo. We should press on. All my homies hate Hojo. We don't like Hojo. God, the game is so pretty. The game is pretty. I love this game. This game is amazing. It looks so good. Oh, absolutely, he's the one. He's he's absolutely, without a doubt. Without a doubt, he is. Steady. Got this. So 
show them what we can do. So no, uh, there are not two Sephiroths at play, and it's so, okay, how do I explain this in a way that makes sense? It has to do with the live stream. So the live stream, when you, when you become one with the live stream and have a dominant enough personality, of which we know that there are three people possible to do that. Because of Advent Children. Zack, Aerith, and um, Sephiroth. They're able to... The, 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 the live stream doesn't adhere to the same rules of time as we know it. And that's mentioned in one of the side books. That I think was released around the same time as Advent Children. So the idea is, is that Sephiroth, it, it, it's the Sephiroth from Advent Children that is in the live stream. And he's manipulating things from within the live stream. And Aerith is as well, but she's not doing it as loud as Sephiroth is. And the way that I say that, that's why, is... The, the Aerith in Remake knows way more than she should. And when she had the moment with Marlene, when, when, oh no, he did. He did. He, that's the whole thing with Gia Stigma. Is that he's releasing the virus from within the live stream. Like the whole point of Gia Stigma is it's him in the live stream fucking up shit. Um, it's his malice, essentially. Uh, we literally just saw it a few weeks ago, and man, that movie did not age well in terms of its dub, but it's really funny. Uh, the, the action scenes are still fucking amazing, though. Um, but yeah, in, in Remake, there's a scene when the, sec when the Sector 7 plate is coming down that Aerith goes to rescue Marlene, and they share a moment where it's almost like Aerith is sharing the knowledge with her from the time, from the live stream. And Aerith herself, when she touches Red 13, Red 13 has a vision of the 500 years in the future epilogue from the original Final Fantasy VII. So clearly Aerith is communicating with herself from the live stream and that's how she's accessing. You know what? I hate to say this. It's the morphogenetic field. It's literally the morphogenetic field from 999. Think of it like that. They're accessing knowledge that they shouldn't be able to access across time and space. So it's very interesting how that's going to, uh, oh, you have not played 999? You should play 999. <laughs> that game is good. Also silly. I love Uchikoshi, so. But there's a little bit of Uchikoshi shit happening here with, like, the whole live stream thing. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's where I'm at in terms of, like, some of the stuff happening in this game is that there's timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff happening, and the live stream's important, and it's a sequel to Advent Children. I'm actually going to go to the... Combat settings and set cloud as leader. Now we're talking. You're in good hands. Still coming out. Stand back. So 
I, I I kind of agree with Maximilian dude on this one. I think the I think part three is going to be a giant kaiju battle like hunt, and you're gonna fight these gigantic ass kaiju battles. I think they'll I think they'll find a way to make Sapphire Weapon a fightable boss. I think. I mean, the diamond weapon fight's gonna be sick. I don't think ruby and emerald weapon are going to be optional. I think they will be required fights in the main game. Bring it on. It's on now. <laughs> Let you down. See ya. Piece of cake. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. The man, say what you will about him, he is a Final Fantasy VII Omega nerd. That man, I, I, his theories kind of often turn out to be true. <laughs> the man knows the lore of FF7 way too well. He said in the past too, he's like, it, it's his all time favorite, like video game pretty much. At least RPG, it's his favorite. Hey, it's Magnify. Uh, can I edit his material? I can't. Oh, I can't edit his material. Ah, oh, lame. Yeah, I, I'm currently of the opinion of Convergence Theory. I do, I, I will say this, I have friends that um, that are playing Remake for the first time right now, uh, but they are not rushing through it anymore, mainly because they're playing on PC and they didn't realize that uh, Rebirth was not coming to PC at launch. And I do feel sad that they've pretty much confirmed that uh, none of the trilogy will be coming to PC at launch. Uh, you will have to wait God knows how long. That's the sad part right now is like the, the PS5 really like outside of like maybe like a very small handful of titles most games are still coming out for PS4 and PS5 like we're a couple years into the thing and they really don't have a lot of like console only games and then a lot of the games that are PS5 only are starting to come out on the PC as well. Um, the end of May 
May 31st is the last day of exclusivity, but that doesn't mean it's the last day and then they'll launch. There's at least, they're, I mean, they're, they're not going to release it for PC until, like, at minimum, probably September. I could see them put it out for PC around fall as, like, a holiday title. Piece of cake. That 16 port should be coming, I think. I wouldn't be shocked if that came out around the summertime. I wouldn't be shocked if that comes out around the same time that the crossover happens with 14. I feel like that makes sense. Put the 14 crossover with 16 at the same time as you put 16 on PC. I feel like that makes sense. All right, I have heard really good things about AutoCast. Also, I hear the static again. I apologize, guys. There's really not much I can do about it. It's just, I can try to deactivate and reactivate, but there's not much I can do about it. So AutoCast, I can't set it on, on him, but like, I'll show you what it does. Allows an ally to automatically use spells with the link material when not actively controlled during battle. This is really good. I will be using this a lot when we get to the main, like, actual game. That is some good ass materia. I I also feel like the 16 um PC might also come with the DLC. <laughs> Can you imagine they release the DLC and then at the same time they release a uh, the PC port that's the complete edition that comes with both DLCs? I imagine that's how they would do it. Because we still have to get the Leviathan DLC. I'm not buying the, the DLC until the Leviathan DLC is out. Then I'll play both as one, as like one whole thing. Oh, that's right, that guy, I forgot. Open the door. Get on the floor. Put a rock the dinosaur. Yeah, that's exactly my point. I mean, I did the same thing as well with Spider-Man, the first one. I waited till all three of the DLC episodes were out, and then I played it as one expansion. Almost like a mini sequel to Spider-Man. And I'm glad I did that instead of playing it, waiting, playing it, waiting, playing it. Tackling it all as one kind of like expansion was fun. It's kind of how I like to handle DLC. It's like wait for it all to release, then play it. Also gas levels reduced by 20%. I did the, I, I want, I need to eventually go back and do the DLC for Strangers of Paradise. I never did it. Can I not reach that one? Ah, uh, I don't remember if I did Bloodstains DLC or not. I played Bloodstained off, off screen? Ritual of the Night? All right, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do I have to? Oh my god, this is like... Oh, cloud. This is a uh, high exhilarating gameplay. No, I do need to hold it still. Oh, come on. Sure. What what have you played this year and want to recommend? I've seen somebody play RZ. 
I have a friend who really liked the Zelda CDI games, so they have played they have played RZ and I watched a little bit of it and yeah. That that game is Zelda CDI. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break and stretch and get some water, and when I come back we will uh, continue the 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 flashback. Alright, I will see you guys in a few minutes. And I end. Just to get up, get a drink, get a snack, see you on the other side.
Hi, I'm back. Hello. All right. All righty. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Whew. I wish I knew what caused that static. So, I, my mom recently got into watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And man, I forgot how good that show is. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is like, top gear. I see a chest. Double elixir, baby. Nice. And a bench. Da bench. Yo, I can't believe that we're like a month away. Actually, less than like less than a month away from WrestleMania. I can't wait, man. WrestleMania is gonna be so much fun. I, I mean, I'm coming off of Infinite Wealth, which feels like it has almost too much in that game. I'm fine with it, though. Huh? Yeah, you don't have to do everything. Um, I'm still playing, but I'm near the end. I loved it. Um, I am getting a little burnt out because I've streamed it 16 times. Uh, and... There's just a lot in that game. And I did want to do everything that I could. Um, but overall, I really had a good time with it. It thinks we're after material. Someone should tell it we're not. <sighs> Got you. Gotta keep your guard up. Maybe try mixing it up more? Stand back. Not doing so great. Get me out of here. Shouldn't be too hard. Who are you? Damn it. I owe you one. When we're done. Of course. You need to bear your attack. Defense cloud. Get him! Damn it! Not again! Get it together. Um, not real. I, mean, I might assess enemies in the main game, but I don't feel like I'm gonna assess anybody in, the, in this part. But I'm also like not like going for a 100% assess completion. God, Hell House. Fucking Hell House, man. What a fight in the original game that was. 
pretty mobile. Till we knock it down. Good thing I don't just fight with a sword. <laughs> Oh, okay, Go for the legs. Take out its legs. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, you know. I'm fine. I'm excited. <laughs> like a puppy. Such a puppy. Such a puppy. That shot looks really bad. I want to steer clear of the gas. Cloud, we fight as a team. It's all you. You're in good hands. I won't let you down. I love how One Winged Angel is playing in the background. Let's like, finish the, 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 the notes are. I'm gonna end it with that. It's that camera angle looks so bad. I don't know why. It's a lot of lighting or something. It just doesn't look right.
Take it but again. Yeah, oh my god. In the background, you hear the thunder the, the and doom That's so well done to incorporate One Winged Angel into that theme. Nice work. Got that. That okay, smile! Hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. This theme, too. Oh, the music is so good. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go, too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Hi, Cloud. Carry on. God, I can hear it it's so bad. God, I have no idea. All right, here's the fun part. Let's let's do this. How do I do photo mode? How do I zoom in? Can't move in any further. All right. Look at the lips. Look at the lips. I have your lips. Same nose. There's definitely blonde hair. Reactor. <sighs> Would it kill this guy to say something? See? I really wanted to see the reactor. The reason he doesn't say anything is because he's, you know, it's because he, he's had a traumatic experience. That's all. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. <laughs> what exactly <laughs> is the problem with this place? <laughs> the people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Oh, Joe. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling? Yeah, the guy's just shy. Whatever you see here. That's all. Speak of it. Oh, I won't. Yeah, you're under an NDA, my friend. No speaking about it. NDA. Non-disclosure agreement. really is like the worst guy on this planet in this game. He's such a scumbag. Also, don't forget that technically speaking, Genesis shows up here. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first. That is a reference to that is a reference to Zack. It's like I don't hear the static when I pause. It was whatever frequency the music is doing is causing the static. 
Because that's a reference to Zack talking about. Yeah, in Christ. Oh, play Crisis Core. They go over how. Um, how Zack. There's a thing with Genesis here in Crisis Core. Hojo, you are really something. Also, the reference to Cloud talking to his sword is actually Zack. Zack talks to his buster sword, because um, that's something Angeal did. Angeal was his mentor. Always would hold the sword, the buster sword up, and be like, embrace your dreams. And never forget your honor as soldier. Genova? Wasn't that... Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, he does. That, okay, the implication here, why they force you to leave, um, Cloud doesn't see it. <clears throat> I believe the implication here is that while you go out to do this Valve thing is when Genesis shows up in Crisis Core. While you're doing this thing, Genesis is showing up. But yeah, Genesis, um, Genesis is really, really fucks Sephiroth mentally. His whole loveless poem bullshit. Now that you see his sword is out and you hear that sound, I'm pretty certain that was like the entire time Genesis was here. I could like show the, the Genesis cutscene to compare, but I'm not going to. Um, I mean, part of it is. These pods were built for the part of it has to do with material. like the the their cells being all fucky wucky. Repurpose them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. I wouldn't say Genesis is the reason for his descent into madness, but Genesis did not help. how they did this but I I am sad that there's no uh, hot pink bottoms the original had the hot pink the hot pink human butt cheeks yeah the hot pink butt cheeks were good was created the same way. Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. I was I different. I was special. But not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Human. 
eventually nope. we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Um, I don't know. Some people here have beaten the game. I assume this game ends with that scene. And probably a final boss leading into that final scene. No, no spoilers, please. But, yes. I would imagine that feels like a natural spot to, uh... To, uh, if they're gonna end at Forgotten Capital, like I they've said. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. Hmm? Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet, but the man was not in a good mood. Got a bee in your mm -hmm. bonnet. Sephiroth. See, I'm the only birdhouse uh, in your soul. Leave. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Anybody know uh, they might be giants? So, how was the reactor? Did you find out what the was honey going The honeybee in. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. Well, I got you. Any chance you could convince him to autograph that photo I took? Uh, Johnny is in the game. I saw Sephiroth making a beat. I, I know that for a fact because they have marketed that fact. Um, he, I believe, is in Costa del Sol. So eventually when we get to Costa del Sol, we'll find, uh, we'll find Johnny. He was, but they'll expand more on him. There'll probably be a whole side quest with him. You know, all the fun things. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the building... Off the nice, Exia. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living- Oh, Chadley's life. here. Go and check on Sephiroth. Hurry, please. We know that he's in the game. He has a new companion with him, too. <laughs> Damn, Cloud, you can climb that? Damn. A main character. So they did change the layout here, and I'm a little sad. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. So this room is very much the same. But there's no uh, side rooms over here. And you are blocked from going upstairs. So in the original, to get downstairs, you would go upstairs, there would be a secret entrance, you would take a stairwell all the way down to the basement. They did not have that in this. There is no stairwell, there is no second floor that you can access. <coughs> At least in the flashback. 
you have to take this elevator. Which was not in the original. This elevator was not here before. Uh, I have to imagine Palmer gets hit by a truck. That would be funny as hell. Never knew it had a basement. Was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. I wonder what could be here. Turn B. No entry. I can't read what that says. Let me in. Damn. It's almost like there's a vampire boy back there that we can't talk to right now. Oh. Hello, tubes that eventually Cloud and Zack will be stuck in. Who's over there? Right? Yeah, so what's me? Oh, that's locked too. Oh, interesting. Hi, Sephiroth. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer. In life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form. Genova. Genova. M-E-G-L-77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L. 913-1977. Genova Project approved. So, they uh, named ooh, the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, Sorry, they bro. grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. Love those strings. Ooh, that's good. That's good shit. Night of the seventh day. A locked reaction. You know, seven comes up a lot in this game. Sephiroth's mother and ancients. The seventh day. Seventh heaven is the bar. Ah, screw it. Uh, it's been seven years Back since Nibelheim, not five. Evening. May as well <laughs> just ask the guy. There's the seven 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 glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch actually. It's like a, it's not a glitch. It's a hidden mechanic in the original base game that if you hit seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven HP, you deal, I believe, to like seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven attack damage or something like that. <coughs> ah, Cloud. I've come across. Final Fantasy VII has a lot to do with the number seven. The specimen. Genova was found in July. Back two thousand years. Smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. That usage of the Genova, the Genova theme? Oh my god. Soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my Imagine reception. finding a world traveling parasitic my <laughs> uh, locust alien. The crowning glory of Professor Gas and One thinking that it's an ancient. He created you? Oh. 
I'm coming, mother. I should go. Mother is waiting. Um, yeah. Well, it's her cells that are speaking to him. Hey. Hey, hold on. Ah, there's the classic get thrown bitch. Should have tech the throw. You gotta tech those. Man got hit with a command grab. I keep asking. Oh uh, no, it's sentient. Why couldn't I have come too sooner? Or it's sapient. It knows what it's doing. It travels from world to world. Um, Maybe takes the resources the and then moves to the next planet. Or Genova knows what it's doing. Least. I don't know if it's a creature of instinct, per se, but... What? Genova definitely uh, knows what it's doing. Hey, it's you, on fire! You, the villagers need your help! Fire! Yeah, well, Sephiroth uh, dominates Genova uh, after a point. <laughs> Sephiroth is, like, Sephiroth's will is too strong for Genova, so Sephiroth winds up being the dominant will between the two. I'm sorry, he's gone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, he, be, he his consciousness essentially overrides Genova's. Oh, it was him, all right, and he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God, get your Hence, why Genova appears as Sephiroth in the original, like the parts of Sephiroth. Like, like when you fight Sephiroth, no, sorry, when you fight Genova in like the ship on the way to Costa del Sol, and it looks like Sephiroth. It's really just a part of Genova. Because Sephiroth is, is essentially has dominated Genova. Yeah, photographer, you're dead. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> One of the cloaked men, because they also have the Genova cells uh, in them, because they were failed experiments. Hence why Hojo is like, oh, what number were you when he shows up at the reunion in North Crater? And Cloud's like, you didn't give me a number. And Hojo's like, oh, you're a failed experiment. Like, you're, you didn't even get a number. How, how uh, intriguing that you were the one to succeed. Because that was the whole part of Reunion, is it's, uh, the Reunion theory is that all of the pieces of Genova would culminate together, and they all found their way to Sephiroth in North Crater. Please. Please be okay. Sephiroth. 
I mean, he also has the Sephiroth, like the Genova cells, the S cells in him. That's part of the experiment from um, that Hojo does on him after the whole Nibelheim, ex uh, all, the whole Nibelheim uh, disaster. Uh, he does once. Oh, I'm sorry, you said outside of flashbacks. I'm sorry, you're right. I was gonna say, in the flashback, he, he does say to him, what does it feel like to have a hometown? Yeah, they all view Cloud as a um, as a failure. <coughs> Cloud is just a puppet. I mean, for most of the game, Cloud is really an unreliable narrator. Right there! Shoot, shoot! Oh, unleash your bullets! Why would you wait? He just killed one of your guys. Right there. Just, just take the shot. Nope. Just not gonna shoot him? Okay. You're just asking to die. Dumbasses. Kinda had it coming. Sephiroth was right. He did nothing wrong. Also, the way he kills the mayor here is so fucked up. Right for the legs! Ow. Then the throat. Even here, brushes Cloud off completely. Separate. Even here, it's Zack, though, but still. <coughs> he has enough, like, knowledge. It's like, listen, I'm not gonna kill you. Just get out of my way. God, that shot goes hard. Was it Twenty. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. How many years? Ninety-seven. It's twenty twenty-four. Dad and I had gone there to hide. Like twenty something years later, and it still goes hard. But if Sephiroth showed up. I I played the demo. I don't that end the demo ended there. I have not seen any of this. Dad. Yeah, we know that he Sephiroth kills her dad. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, did she he? She grabs his sword and attacks him. Sephiroth. Soldiers. Maku. Shinra. I hate them all. Yeah. I'm sick of all of this! What? I play slow. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let's play casual player. Come on. Yeah, she grabs the sword. And she gets her ass beat. Sephiroth. Silly girl. Damn, can you believe that Tifa died here and that, like, she actually died? Tifa in the main game is actually Genova. Tifa never survived. She died here. Hey, duck. Welcome on in. <laughs> I wonder if they show the scene. Because, like, I am. in the original, like, Our well, son. when they find the truth, Cloud, like, is impaled by the sword and then climbs the sword. Our world. It's so I sick. I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! Alright, happy Friday, Duck. Hope you're doing well. Mother. They have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. WWE presents Sephiroth, then, now, forever. I have so many questions from the very intro of the game. So many questions. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. Especially my about village. Zack and my what home. the hell's going on there. They were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been- Zack is Zack. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! And then he forgets. Yup, fade to white. Ah, yeah, because the true story. And that's the last yep. thing I remember. The rest is a blank. Play Crisis Core. The hell it is? What happened? Don't remember. It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. Oh, of course, they covered it up. But then, the story changed. 
A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Damn, I can't believe that. dumbasses believe that shit? Question. Does that make me a dumbass? <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... <laughs> Does that make me a dumbass? Screw Shinra for manipulating. Oh my god, I love Aerith. I'm gonna be sad when they kill her. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Was he? Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. Ooh. Come back now. She knows. Remember, she knows. After five years. Seven years. See? Right there. Five years, his brain goes, because it's not five, it's seven. Because. I love those started. little, like, little flashes. He wants to reclaim his birthright. Because he knows that's not right. Rule over the planet. With Genova at his side. After five years? Do it again. God, come on. Not to sound like a broken record, but... Should have done it again. It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering I love me Barrett. is all this Genova stuff. I love the whole cast. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. No, the incident was seven Let years. <laughs> there's a two year uh, gap. You weren't kidding, were you? No, there's a two year let's gap. The, room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. the two year gap no, is. Um, to the no, well, the so incident I, I was. After the incident happens, him and Zack are experimented on for a while. Uh, oh no, you don't. That bad's mine. But from the events of that incident to now, it's been seven years, not five. It Okay, it's literally in the OG FF7. He okay. says in the flat when, when they're when they're doing the flashback stuff really? and when I... they're fixing Cloud's brain, she says, You're wrong, it hadn't happened been five years, it had been seven. Times. Where's he been? And you're asking. So unless they retcon that and changed it, feeling. that's what I remember. From the original we localization. Did that get retconned? All that stuff was taken from me though. Or maybe erased by whispers? Yeah. Like now I feel like I'm being gaslit and I have to look it up. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy. Oh, cause she never saw him in that's Nibelheim? She did, yeah. Oh, man. I keep thinking that she had seen him at the end, but yeah, you're right. I totally misread that entire thought thing the entire time. She never thought he was there. Because she doesn't remember. After she got knocked out by Sephiroth, she didn't see him. I don't know why for some reason I thought she was conscious for that. And remembered that he was there, but yeah, that's right. She totally forgot to. Why do I... Cloud, you up? So it had been two years between him leaving, because he was fourteen when he left Nibelheim. And he was sixteen when he came back, but he was not a soldier. He was just a foot foot guy. He was just a, a literal nobody, like quite literally a nobody. You look at 
Pinto Poppers. I want to pet him. Oh, he looks so cute sleeping. Oh, Nanaki. I want a photo mode. Look at my little boy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at that good boy. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. My man's sleeping like that. I couldn't sleep like that. I'm Sorry. not a furry. Did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. <laughs> so, can we talk? Sure. Great. But not here. Follow me. So are we? Okay, we start at level 15. Okay. Make a save. Who, who, wait, who fucking? Uh, I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? <gasps> you gaslighting son of a bitch. Fucking Sephiroth gaslighting you. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. That would be wild if Tifa turned out to be uh, Genova. Still feels like yesterday. And she's dead. Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? That would be crazy. <laughs> no, Tifa is Tifa. Do you think Mid She she lived. Over there? She survived. Because of Cloud. She didn't know, though. Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I imagine I that Zongon probably saved her. Yeah. That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Among us? Vote Tifa out. Sorry, she gotta go. I saw her vent. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. She wasn't doing tasks. Here, look. I saw her vent, man. This scar, that proof enough? You oh come on! Show us the scar. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He oh his man! Life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? Oh fuck you! In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Damn. Way to go, Cloud. Dick. God. 
Way to go, Cloud. You, 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 you fumbled the bag, my guy. Fumbled the bag. could just pick up where we left yeah off, like nothing had changed but i guess i was wrong what an asshole cloud guess so <laughs> i did i was so i did to see you again but maybe i shouldn't have been no cloud's just like he's had a shitty life man he, he didn't get into soldier Um, he gets experimented on, has to watch his best friend die while he's in a comatose state, and then Thank absorb you, his memories. No. <coughs> and, um, you know, he has no idea who he really is, and he's a puppet. Copy. An experiment that was a failure. I feel bad for Cloud. Right. Also, man, I kind of want to bed that low to the ground. That day. would be nice. You know how you don't put th lose things under the bed? You just don't have it under the bed. Sephiroth light. Just a hint of Sephiroth. Michelob Cloud Sephiroth Ultra. And 64 grams of Sephiroth. Oh, I mean, this, this, the, the experiment was a success for sure. Uh, just Cloud was a failure. <laughs> Originally, and then he turns out to be the only successful one. Oh, the experiment was absolutely... Let me fuck up some people and see what happens. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. What? Queen's blood? <gasps> Mini game. Well, um, this has become a Queen's Blade only stream. I'm gonna snooze the ads one time to do this. Ooh, good music. Each player takes places two scripts. Uh, Tetra Master sucked. Uh, the only good card game in Final Fantasy until now was Triple Triad. Ooh, damn, Jazz is good. One of your card position tiles overlaps the position you control. The position rises in rank. There are two pawns. The position is ranked as two. Two two or higher than the rank. Okay. Use the right position. Okay. So I can play this guy here. Oh yeah, I hate it. Card position overlaps with one of your opponents. You will claim that position is yours. However, note that claiming position will not raise its rank. Okay. 
can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, while the ones on the right represent your opponents. And you the cards of tiles on the right borders. Yes, sir. The tiles that are affected by the card's ability place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and that's more power and more lanes than your opponent. You can pass a triangle when both players pass consecutively, the game will end. Okay. <coughs> Interesting. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with a higher power in a lane has their power added to their score. <clears throat> in other words, no matter how high your opponent power in a lane may be, it is, if it is less than your opponent's power, it will not count towards your score. But yeah, okay, so you essentially want to win two lanes to make sure you definitely win. Like, he'll get seven, but he's not going to get anything else. Okay. I think I get it. Cool. 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 All right, now I need to do this. Give me my stuff. Ramu. Okay. Cool. All right, we got Edge coming up. So I'm gonna save, I'm gonna run an ad. And then when I come back, we'll uh, we'll do a little bit more chapter two before we call it. So yeah, uh, I will be back in just a few minutes. See you on the other side.
Hi, I'm back. We're gonna listen to this though. It would probably sound like this. Doom doom. Motorcycle. Doom doom doom. Chains. Doom doom. Motorcycle. Doom doom. This is so cursed. <laughs> Duck, you haven't even heard it yet. Not a motorcycle. That's a crazy bus. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> so here's the funny thing with that song. That is a a. a a, uh, an OC remix by Expert Novice. Expert Novice is the pseudonym for Joe Zajaya, the guy who plays Claude in Three Houses and uh, Kurt in Cold Steel 3 and 4. <laughs> That's the same guy. Because he's uh, actually a good musician. Also, the crazy bus reference at the end is mwah, so good. Well, that a cute balcony. series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare. Oh, that's from the beginning. By the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Interesting. It's the same report from the beginning of the game. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing <laughs> myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Yeah. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the Magnata first official book was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. Okay. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. Wait, what's the a folio? First customization is always free. What's a folio? Calm's a simple but beautiful town. Take your time. 
See the sights. Get your folios and weapons inspected yet? Calm's a simple but beautiful town. Yeah. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? I read. Waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt Aww. until it's paid. <coughs> I'm going to accompany you. Hell yeah. My boy. My man. Party experience. Oh, uh. Huh. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. <laughs> the rook's got a backbone. Call them a rookie? Wow. More skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Oh, he comes with E free. Oh, okay. That actually makes sense. Fire. That makes sense. Card decks. Okay. Hey Dad, have you heard of Queen's Blood? All the kids at school are playing. All the kids at school are playing it, guys. So much at dialogue. Got those men in robes? Is it just me? Or is Broden not doing so well? I think he's been under the weather recently. Didn't you used to have a crush on him? Please. That his eyes looked sad when he smiled or something? There's so much dialogue. Can I play against Broden in, uh... Hi. <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare me like that! You... You don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that... Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me! Oh, God, this is too much! I think... I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> Give me that look! It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know! <laughs> People call me Cry Baby Dead! Oh my god! Because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's Blood! <laughs> Please play around with me! I just wanna. I just wanna take a moment to. Great voice acting! He must be a Cody crybaby. That's a wrestling reference. To mulligan? Ooh, okay. Oh, definitely want to mulligan that one. And I'm going to mulligan that one. Actually, I don't want to mulligan that one. Let's mulligan you.
interesting. I have, I have made a mistake. So what happens if there's a tie on the lane? I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm learning. I win. Okay, I'm I'm getting I'm getting the hang of it. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Crystalline crab. Ooh, okay. That's a good card. 
Oh, God! I lost it. But, uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. Okay, it's pretty There's fun. Nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Shut up, crybaby. Chocobo Express! I have no time for crybabies. A little birdie told me you can't get enough of that card game, Queen's Blood. Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? I'm gonna beat a literal child. Okay, I want the crab. Uh, what do I take out for the crab? I, the bee, I don't really like the bee. I don't like the bee. Ooh, you got a cactar? I want that. Uh, probably, probably the former more than the latter. <laughs> if I had to be honest. I feel like I want to hold off on that guy. I don't know yet. We're gonna. I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna play by ear. I'll probably do a lot of. Um, what do you call it? I'll probably do a lot of Queen's Blade off stream though. But I don't know yet. I'm just gonna shut this guy down. Try to shut him down. I think I lost this one. Oh, maybe maybe I won. Maybe I won. Yo, did I clutch that out? Yo, I clutch that out? Yo, we clutch that out. Let's go. Clutch win. Heart of the cards. That was a clutch win. If you smell... Uh, I don't want to smell what the rock is cooking because it's you, diarrhea. This guy packs one hell of a punch, but hey, you can't win them all. If I don't Besides, pull the crab there, I don't win that game. You're brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Playboy Also, what's up, Juice? How you doing, bud? Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious Happy Friday. Up in your game. Take Listen, the L? You got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now, why don't you show bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. All right, then. I hear Midgar's a mess right now. Okay. I don't 
don't see another Queen's Blood person. I'm gonna check the bookstore. How do I make this? How do I set this? Yeah, I, I need to go rewatch the uh, the thing. He moved to Midgar because of it. Where it is, he's a well-known singer now. That's a that's a jam. Oh no, there's chess everywhere. A headband. I'm mean, to sleep. Cool. Oh. I think it's going to I think it's going to be fun. I think it's gonna be a fun, like, I can't wait for Wrestlemania. My hype levels for Wrestlemania actually have gotten much better. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Uh, Cloud goes in the water and he comes out completely dry. I got my woke yellow paint and now I have unrealistic unrealistic uh, d graphics you know this is it's a trash this is one out of ten this game this game sucks cloud should be soaking wet right now and I should be able to see his nipples I can't see his wet soaking nipples so this game it's a zero out of ten honestly unplayable it's an unplayable game uh-huh finally decided to get up yeah so what you've been doing why, waiting for you, of course. Yeah. Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Oh, that sounds adorable, and I would love to. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. Hell yeah. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the. Tickets. I'll do anything for her. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Raya Becky is gonna be fun. Oh. Okay. I have no idea. I have not made any decision on that yet. I'll catch yet. up with you later, alright? Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh. I take it this is your first visit. I'm gonna to like whoever I go on a date with is uh, who I go on a date with. This can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It <laughs> takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend the skill points at Magnata Books locations and automats to augment your party's folios. Uh, sure. Oh, is this what they did instead of doing the weapons? Unlock skill course can be reset at any time and the SP spent will be returned, so feel free. Yo, that's nice. No cost to respec. And that's about all we can do. For Big now. fan of that. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the okay, eye. Okay, so you have to do this at locations not like yet, and not in just a menu. What'll okay. it be? Temporary three charge ATB gauge or iron defense team up with your partner and take a strong defensive stance which leads to fiery impulse 
Unleash a fire magic attack without expending MP. Oh, that's probably big for hard mode. And you would strengthen fire material spells by learning it as well. Max HP up. This leads to electric impulse. And enhanced overcharge. Well, I want those, yeah. I'm sure. I feel like getting the synergies makes sense first. Temporary unlimited MP. Oh. Interesting. Icy impulse. ATB charge rate up? Huh. This is very interesting. Divine Punishment or Bodyguard? I'm gonna go Divine Punishment. Overfang or Wild Charge? Go to Synergy. So I got that. This is what? Ranged Blade? Wind Current. Ooh! Powerful Punisher. Okay. Have a good one. Cool. Very cool. This is where it all began. The first Magnata books. Interesting. Uh, Actuar King's completely sold out. Mm. Lame. Actuar King? Sold out? No way. I want Cactuar King. <laughs> what a glorious wall, keeping us safe and secure. Fuck your wall. All day. I destroyed your wall. Fight me. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, come to admire the Bailey? <laughs> it is something. <laughs> Chaos. Maybe. You're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> Quarterback. I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall. Yeah, call I me Tom Brady, because I'm about to win to six championships. To my Don't seven, I mean. You'll emerge unscathed if you decide Was to it six or seven? Me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. I, I would like Cactar. Let me get rid of for Cactar. Why oh, have? Um, I have two of you and two of you. I really don't like Queen Blade. I really don't like Queen Bee. I ain't really Queen Bee. Screamer. Oh, wow, that thing's strong. do that to raise those ranks up. I could double play. Let's see what happens if I double play this.
That's annoying. Okay, that's annoying. <coughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Okay, this is fine. Hmm, <coughs> that's not... Ah, here we go. Fuck you! Oh, that's rude. I lose. No, that's not what I wanted the to do. Players I wanted here to challenge. Are so frail in comparison to this majestic wall. Well, don't say. All right, this is addicting. I made this so much worse. It's <coughs> that. Oh, that's rude. What is that? I think it's GG. Oh yeah, that's so GG. Uh, wait. No, it's GG. 
Oh my god, 14. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked. Could really use my three card. I think that's an L, right? Yeah, that's an L. Oh, this is hard. <coughs> I think I'm like, I just don't have enough cards here. Like, I'm not getting the right ones. I don't have enough abilities? I'm not sure. Oh, that fucked up, man. What is that card? This thing is fucked up. That has a diagonal. I don't have any diagonals. Can I buy cards from somewhere? card also kind of sucks.
as it countered, man. This is an L. Am I bad, or do I just not have a good deck? I can't tell. So I'll bring the Queen Bee back and see if that helps. It kind of sucks, I mean it really sucks. I don't think I can beat this person. You shore up your own defenses. I don't think I have the cards. <laughs> what a glorious wall. Keeping us safe. I'll have to come back because I can't. I literally can't win with my deck. They actually made it hard. Any other Queen's Blade that I can play or buy some cards? I wandered in here, that was cool. 
I, I literally just wandered into that. Hi, Tifa. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. Place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Aww. That's cute. Hey, do you know what's going on in Midgar? That's it, Miss Fred. You're I've been here already. So, how was your trip to Midgar? Please. <gasps> it took me long enough. Is that a cat door? Got myself a cat. He's so cute. My camera roll's filling up. I feel that. I'm the same way with my dog. I'm just gonna snap a pic of everything he does. I know, right? I swear I have like a million photos of Kathy. Wanna see him? I'm telling you, she's adorable. How did you even get your hands on a cat tour? They're not local, right? That fucker will hit you with a thousand needles and kill you. That is not a pet. That is not a pet. I am sorry. That is not a household pet. Try playing against the kid. The actors are the uh, This Mako tank. You know why Rufus had to step up, don't you? Everything. Not this way. Up here, okay. Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. So what happened to all my other weapons? Oh, the, so, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so they do have the weapon stuff. Set weapon skills. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's different. The auto upgrade? Oh my god, finally. See what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the. How do they explain angel. how you lost all your other weapons? All right. Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Oh, I don't have the money for that. What can I sell to get the money for that? Now I have the money for that. 
Imbue your sword with fire and lightning while slicing a foe. Avoid an enemy's weakness. Okay. You take care of that weapon now. Yep. Yeah, once you max out the proficiency, you can then use that on any uh, any weapon. So what's the Buster Sword's uh, proficiency? Focus Thrust. How do I see if I've learned it? Is it in like abilities or something? Not spells. Combat settings? These are shortcuts. Oh, is it in here, maybe? Hey, what? Back again. What can I do you for? I don't... Oh, are they not in the party? That way I can't upgrade the weapons, I guess. I guess not, yeah. Oh, no, okay. You do this. Increase attack power with unbridled strength is active. Increases duration of unbridled strength by 50%. I want that one. Oh, definitely give him more HP. He's the tank. Ooh. I'll take that one. Okay, I think I get this now. Oh, hell yeah. Wind damage up. Interesting. So, how do I? Oh, next level. Okay. Kinda confused. Like, how do I see if I've learned focus thrust or not? That's not, okay, is it here? I'm confused. I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Whatever. I'm, I'm just I'm fine. We're not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Cloud! Over here! Let's do our date. Let's get started then, shall we? Aw, that's cute.
but she runs fast. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. So far away. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. Aww. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Aww. Don't take her for granted. Damn. <gasps> uh, what? Isn't that the Genka? What? Or the Genki, we you pronounce it? Just. <laughs> Shinra never attacked when we're in calm. that airship used in the main game. It was crashed at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, I, do, I remember that totally. Avalanche. Not exactly. Oh? Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Find 
got to be so slow? That went well. The inn's not much further. But stay on your toes. Yeah, but I want to go fast. You know, they could have just said, have you seen a talking dog? Where are they? Down below. Waiting to wait. Down below? The tunnel in the basement can take you outside the town. Aw, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to finish my Queen's Blade. Or Queen's Blood. Oh, God. I just realized. Queen's Blade and Queen's Blood are way too close together, and they are two very different things. Muter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Charmander, yeah. Than me. So he's not exactly with Avalanche? So what is he exactly with? Why are you doing this? You could have just turned us in. Definitely a sympathizer for sure. Who knows? <clears throat> hmm. Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you'd better get going. Okay. I don't need to see that. I know. I played the demo. I hope I can come back to Calm later. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh-oh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. That's good. Got that. I, I imagine they made that last Queen's Blood match so difficult, yeah, thinking that you would not be able to win. You would have to come back to finish it. At least that's what I assume. Right, we're gonna have to run another ad really soon. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. I think this is a good spot to take a quick ad break. Very quick, I will be back. I'm not even gonna stand up and stretch. I'm literally just gonna run the ad and then I'll be right back. So uh, yeah. Stick around and we'll uh we'll finish out this chapter no not this chapter, but we'll get through this part. Um yeah, I'll be right back. Story, huh? All right. They y'all up on a high horse like equestrians. A lifetime ago, we used to be the best of friends, but things change. Now I'm feeling stressed again. I got my soul leveled up. Let the quest begin. I was born in the sewage of the slums. In wartime, sought peace, but no one ever knew if it would come. We were four buddies working on the same team with the same goal. But with slightly different means, when he hit the scene, he commanded respect. He needed something done, and every hand in the deck took.
village dress begin. I got my sword leveled up, now let the quest begin. begin. So Tifa tells me she can reconstruct the pieces of my past. Fill in the gaps, cause I'm sick of wearing the mask. The frame breaks mad body like a PS1. Story kinda cloudy, almost like my namesake. But wait, it turns out that what was in my mind was a memory. A dream that wasn't even mine. This can't be. I close my eyes, it looks so clear to me. Apparently nothing is the way it appears to be. So in fact, I was kidnapped by Shinra. Beat down and tortured so I couldn't remember. But now I'm hot like a scolded pot. All of us were enhanced. Make those showers and Genova cell implants. Crazy part is that the cells duplicate information. So what was in my head was a mistake. The man that I see in my flashback, in fact, is it me? That would be my best friend, Zach. My confidant who died in battle. Asked me to live for him. And yeah, I must have agreed to. So I lived a double life for the past five years. Told lies to people who believed you. But I was manipulated by Seth. Gotta find him. Kill him and I do it myself if I had to. Then I meet a group of survivors. What they lack in skill, they make up for a desire. Now we on a quest to unlock the mystery. We mount up and the rest is history. They roll upon me high horse like a quest begins. A lifetime ago we used to be the best of friends. But things change. Now I'm feeling stressed again. I got my sword leveled up. Now let the quest begin. All upon the high horse like a quest begins. Hi, I'm back. Hello. Also, if you haven't listened to this album before, look up Black Materia. It's a hip-hop nerdcore album by uh, Mega Ran, Random, uh, and it's so good. Big fan. Shoutouts to, to Mega Ran. I see a treasure chest. I sold those items because I can just make them. <laughs> Infinite money glitch. Not really a glitch. Totally intended. Oh, okay. I see where we're going. This is going to open up the door. This is okay. That explains why you open the door to the overworld. So we're about to get to the open world section, I imagine. Thank you, Duck. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, that's bright. Wow. Breath of the Wild. Just look at it all. It's so green. Now to explore everything. In it. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left. That's right. the wrong way. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Huh. I hope I didn't get locked out of Queen today. But I guess you have to come back to calm at some point. I hope. <laughs> Queen's Blood. I'm gonna keep calling it Queen's Blade. Because that goddamn anime, I watched it once and it's stuck in my head. You know what it is? I think of, what was the name of the game from Cold Steel 1 and 2 Blade? And that was a card game. That's why. Not because I watched an anime with big-ass titties. 
That should not have been on Netflix because they were bare exposed breasts. New discovery made? Huh. So you can quickly change your party here. I like this. Somebody mentioned this that they didn't. Like, they're like, I wish there was a way you could set presets. And like there is. Let's do this. Uh, we're, we're absolutely going Barrett Red 13. All right, time to explore. the pipeline. Oh my god, dude. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking gorgeous. I love this. All of the stuff to make things. Where's the transmutate? There it is, right at the top. Locked. Interesting. It's fine. Can I kill him? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. make our way to the main story thing for now. Planet's Blessing. Oh, this is like, uh, I'm gonna wanna like run everywhere. I didn't say that. You didn't hear me say that. I didn't kill the cow. Cow is nice. Right, cow is my friend. I'm just like... I love that they added, like, little places here and there, like... Little ruins.
Ow. Was there a bench over here? Me at all, baby. Explore everything. More things to scavenge. I have enough now for. Don't have enough there. One level. So everyone's okay. Everyone's level fifteen. That makes sense. That's cool. One. You always want to buy like the, the special thing. I need money though. I'm guessing this opens up the fast travel system. I should be able to teleport here. It's important to make sure they've got plenty. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shimmer's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Old dock by the swamp. Okay, co-conspirator. So where are we going now? All the way down there. God damn, that's a hall. Like I said, though, I, how do I know if I've learned the thing? Is there, like, a way to look at my abilities besides spells? That's just spells.
I, am I like, am I not understanding this? Like if I, let's say I change my, my weapon to the saber. Do I not have... I don't have Focus Thrust now. I want that, though. Like, how do I see if I have enough? I don't remember. It used to be somewhere, but I can't see it. I'm so... I'm confused. Is it... Not the view more... Oh, now I see it. It's the bar. Okay, that. Mm, they could have. They could have highlighted that a little better. That's all I'm saying. They could have highlighted that a little bit better. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? <laughs> yeah, it's Choco Bill. I'd almost forgotten what it's like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. He created. The oh, that's swing by the ranch once you're done. Yep, yeah, that's him. Whatever you got going on. Love to keep chatting, but this rust bucket ain't gonna fix itself. That's him, all right. The main theme is so good. I love switching characters. Guys, I remember that. Max out. What did I already max out? <coughs> mm -hmm. Now focus thrust. Oh, Stardust Ray. Nice. 
Alright, now that I maxed him out, we can um, put a different party in. We do. Tifa in the party over Red 13. So I can get Tifa's uh, mastery out. Or proficiency, whatever you call it. Ability, mastery. How you doing, Rio? Hope, hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. We are currently playing some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We have made it to the open world section, and we're kind of just getting our feet wet in the world. Uh, still on the main story, uh, but I am working on getting the party's abilities up. So let's see. Um, tearing equipment, cloud, buster sword... Mastered, let's go. Switching to Sleek Saber. Have you mastered that yet? Nope, not yet. Then I need to master the Dive Kick. We already mastered Stardust Ray. Yeah, welcome on in, how you doing? Uh, what were you playing tonight? I'll give you a shout out. doing well happy friday or if you're on the east coast or i guess also mountain uh saturday now it's the latest this is the latest i've streamed in a long while actually i usually don't stream this late but uh seven rebirth is good i like it i want to be playing it. so i should heal oh no oh, that's right it's friday night n64 mania yeah, oh yeah, Gamerade. Nice. Yeah, I'm usually not on this late, but I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this game a lot, and I wanted to, uh, get a lot of time in it. Now, let's see. I should probably check my materia. What do I have? Healing Fire. Assess. Lightning and HP up, Chakra and Ice, Poison, okay, and Precision Defense, interesting, Prayer and Wind, okay. Also, summoning is like, you can summon so much faster, like, you get the chance to summon way more in this game than you did in Remake. Remake summons really felt like they were just for bosses, and they were just like, they would happen. Firebolt blade now. Deal with that. Oh, damn. But not my best. Keep destroying these guys. This is the marsh. Did you play remake, uh, Rio? Or, uh, or is Final Fantasy, like, not your thing? Nice. Hey, I liked it, but we were talking earlier. 
we were kind of saying like it feels a little bit like uh, when you're playing this game, how you're starting to see like that it was kind of like a tech demo. No sign of Never sin. played the original, really. Yeah. Interesting. It looks like an old Republic landing. Good I almost feel folk. like you. Uh, I would recommend it. Through the mines. I, I really the liked it. We hit sure. Oh, Midgar Zalm's gonna show up you here. Trust these rotting hulks? Yeah, that makes sense. You have to have the time to dedicate to it. Let's not. That's understandable. We swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Snake. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> a bird! Well, uh -oh. can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> yeah! Now we need to go back to the ranch. This way. Man, this is so fucking cool. I love this. Sounds good, Rio. Have a good rest of your night. And uh, yeah, um, I'll be up for just a little bit longer. And then tomorrow um, I'll be playing some Persona 5 Reload, which I can't wait. We're probably gonna be starting a little early with that though, because I, um, I'm not doing the gym tomorrow. I am instead doing, um, I'm gonna do DDR tomorrow. Um, on my, you know, just to, to do it. So sick. Okay. Uh, let's check our equipment. I mastered that not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Transmuter. Make an antidote. Okay, so this game has like a whole crafting thing. I need, an, I need a mist seed for that. And I need a beast talon and numinous ashes for that. I need a mist seed for that. Okay. Just master their stuff. 
Okay, Cloud mastered it. And Tifa mastered it. All right, Tifa, you're out of the party for Aerith. Party. Now we'll start working on getting Arcane more proficiently learned. I don't think you can. I think the game will stop you, probably. I imagine the game's gonna stop you and, like, put up an invisible wall. And it's like, no, 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 no. You can't go that way. No, no, no. Wrong way. No, no, no. Wrong way. It's what I imagine, at least. Seeds short on these. Damn. Yeehaw! Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Look at this man. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed, I did. You must have been my lucky charms. Of she course. Started up right after you left. Of course. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. Chocobos. For them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... <laughs> Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Uh, oh, wow. Son of a bitch. But you don't need convincing. You just need pointing <coughs> to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. Oh, my God. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Billy. Hmm? There's something I can help you with? Ah, uh, that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Ooh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. That's kind of cool that you have some conversation paths with people. That's neat. I like that. Okay, let's do some transmutation. Okay, we can get... Oh, I definitely want that. Wind current. Unleash a wind magic attack without expending MP. Interesting. Uh, 
Let me get ranged blade first, though. Oh, hell yeah. I use overcharge. He's a master salesman? Hell yeah, he is. Counterspin potency. Interesting. Materia. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, okay. <coughs> Very nice. Who am I gonna give this steel materia to? I could give it to Cloud. The ability, I don't have the, okay, the ability is also there. Okay. Cool. God, this music is, so I need to download this soundtrack immediately. Without spoiling anything, though, because I'm afraid that the, the titles will spoil things. But god damn, this music's so good. You can't just put a button there and ask, not let me press the damn thing. I know, that's a uh, hot take. I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Oh, what? I ain't got that Please. much money. We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Yeah, we don't have money. We're broke. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Capture a wild one. Grand. Is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops. Oh my god. <laughs> You can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. 
Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. I see a treasure chest. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Cool thing, kid. I need that chest. Timeless rod. A barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you? Oh, that's kind of dope. Red is very interesting. So I'll show you what Red's whole thing is. Uh, Stardust Ray is a 2 ATB attack that does devastating damage. But his whole gimmick is... Um, I'll go to the, the... Where is it? Manual? Red 13 swipes at foes or hold it to unleash a whirling slash capable of hitting multiple enemies. Successfully guarding against attacks will fill the vengeance gauge, allowing you to turn the, the tide of battle. After successfully blocking attack, let your down your garden press circle to perform counter spin. In vengeance mode, successfully guarding will raise the vengeance gauge. Once you press triangle to enter vengeance mode, Red 13's attack power and speed will um, activate. While in Vengeance Mode, press Triangle to use Siphon Fang, damaging an opponent and absorbing their HP. Vengeance Mode can be activated anytime, but will last longer depending on how full the gauge is. So the thing with Red is he's like a... not Kind of a tank, but in the sense that, like, you can use him to essentially sacrifice HP to absorb HP and you would block immediately entering a battle to get your vengeance gauge up so then you can, you know, kind of just slap things. Very interesting. is money. He's just doing his job. We understand, I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from They Midgard? die? Yeah. That implied they died. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Hey, um, Sam! Not very well, but... I remember yeah, Sam. I guess we do. Where is he? <laughs> Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's, he's at Walmart. Wall um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Oh, Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. I want to know. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. What? Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Sam was a good guy to us. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. To us, yeah. Maybe right. it's different. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for Chocobo gear. That's true. So be sure to hand them over if you do. But how much of that was him having to do that? And how much of that was him wanting to do that? Oh, I can spend to buy these things if I really wanted to. Which I don't want to because that's more money than I want to. doesn't give you all too much trouble. Hey, a Moogle medal. Oh no, the Moogle medals are back. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? 
Pico de Gallo? It's not because it's unknown, it just shows up at the bottom. That's funny. Uh, where are those tracks? Oh, here we are. <laughs> Follow the tracks. Oh, I see him. Bingo. Y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. I mean, unless we want some choco meat. Huh. Gotcha, boy. <laughs> Got him. My boy. Give him a nice pet. I've never had ostrich. Give him the greens. Gotta start crunking. Maybe he's still hungry. Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Whoa. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Silly as hell. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Who 
I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Ah, oh, perfect timing. Chadley. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. This is where I'm told is a good stopping you spot. You do remember me, don't you? Is after you meet Chadley. Hell yeah, remember my android boy. I knew you would. It was an absolute <coughs> pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create my so much material. Goddamn android boy. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Yeah, that doesn't help your case. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. The Republic of Since Junon? Which time they sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world... Yeah, the let's go! Ubisoft up. Towers! As will the area I can Eka Slate bullshit! I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Listen, open world games always do this. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something These like are that. things I'll do Let's off stream. Then. See that tower? That's your first target. Because these are things that and I find might be kind of boring. It's me hunting them all down. The Chad module? As the tower's close by. What a Chad. You. What a Chad. You could say he's a little Chad Lee. My man, are you sand walking? What is this movement? Go see Dune if you haven't. Sand walking is cool. Here we are. Big button. Then press the button. Uh oh. Shinra Tower bullshit. I'm sorry, Ubisoft Tower. They're the hollow, they're the, the, the tall necks from Horizon. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Very, very Horizon Zero Dawn. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Okay. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. Okay. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. The classic. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, of course. regardless of your real world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the yes. summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. Yes. In fact, after Give pulling the stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new <gasps> one. The tower in Colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Oh, we're starting Do you next to have week's any stream with about world Titan. Intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? 
In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me. Of that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, uh, thus that's how you unlock the summons. Them, I can use it to enhance our material. I am literally if about to call it as well, Tengu, so info, please I hear you. Away. It's almost two in the morning. I'm just gonna ask him about these things and then we're gonna raid a channel. While and get it out is of here. normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, but have a good night. I'll be back tomorrow with Persona 3 uh, Reload. I would like you to track I'm down aiming and for like four o'clock start time. And amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. Bud. Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. What a nerd. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. Chadley is if such a nerd. If you still have questions about world intel, simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about what... Do you happen to have... These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long-forgotten ruins and okay. rare natural phenomena. Yeah, they're the tall necks. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please, I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts yeah, often sense. claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions? Right, last one, developing materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, what I ultimately produce, however, I look forward to finding out what we can... Do you happen to have any questions? Oh, that is it. In that case, I with your activation of this tower, My though hardly substantial, it is which of these would you like? Ooh. Oh, man, autocast. Auto unique ability? Ooh. Hmm. Morph is kinda cool, but not yet. I definitely want auto cast though. And then uh, fire and ice? I'm gonna take morph. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. <laughs> what? Cloud. I have recreated. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. I just want to see this real quick. I don't actually want to do the fight. I just want to take a look at it. Level sync. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Healing materia two. I do want to do the combat training. I'm going to do that on my own. Cool. Cool. Needless to say, many hazards await you. This is a great stopping spot for the night. We will return to this game next Friday. Um, but tomorrow I'll be back with uh, Persona 3 Reload. And uh, yeah, good start to the, uh, the Rebirth playthrough. I am very excited to continue.